The following episode is dedicated to our loyal listeners in Tinker Bush Lane, Oxfordshire. Welcome to the Steez. I'm Jazzbot. Oh, we talk? Oh, episode 321. With a bullet. It's always <laughs> with a bullet. Why is it always with a bullet? Oh, because it, it comes, just, just comes just so wait. quick. Oh, it's so fast up the up the ladder. Yeah. Music ladder. Look, it's a, it is up. When up, up, up. Yeah. Only, only way is up. Uh, baby, when was the last time you... Chucked a CD into a bloody CD into CD. A CD. I did notice on the way into the studio you had probably seven hundred blank CDs in your driveway. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, I guess, there's a story to that. Yeah. Um, should we get into the episode? We'll do. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll talk about that now. Then we could get into it. Okay, if you if you want it, if you want it. Thanks, Bill. Yeah. So, as we said in the intro, mm. what are the CDs for? Yeah, what are the CDs um, for? I got a call from a mate who's, who's doing a fit out of a pharmacy. Okay. And he keeps calling me up and going, because like, I'm Tim Taco, right? Yeah, you I, are. I put the feelers out. I say, don't throw it. Call me first. Yes. I don't care what it is. Right? That opens the floodgates to many, 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 many things. People send me lyrics at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. Aha. Uh-huh. That's not what I meant. I meant if it's like there's a retro couch on the side of the road and um, these coordinates go get it. Yeah, mm. thanks for the hot tip there, Neba. Yeah. I like those tips. Mm, the hot tips. Yeah. Um, but I get a call from this mate doing the fit out. It's like, I've got, there's, there's a box here. This pharmacy has like hundreds of blank CDs. Mm. And blank CD cases to go with. Yeah. Do you want them? And I did the I did the thing of like, ah, oh, dude. Like I, I think I disabled the CD drive on my computer, oh, so sure. I can't even burn CDs. Oh. So I felt like, well, I always did want a lot of CDs when yeah. it was hot. So yeah. I kind of owe it to myself to say yes. To keep them. <clears throat> so you say yes, which I did. And when I was around there, picked them up. Lo and behold. They've all got the pharmacy oh, printing the on the front. Well, yeah, it's neither here nor there. Isn't it, though? Well. I can't use them for any commercial benefit. No, well, it's a CD. Yeah, I know. And I don't, I don't ship burn CDs sailed. and take it, give it to people anymore. I don't do the mixtape thing. I don't do the CDs in the no, car no, anymore. No, no, I used no, no, to put no. together like, oh, I want to put together a hot mix. Dump, 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 burn, yeah. burn, burn. And then you got Spotify now, so yeah, you don't I can't know. label it over, you know, Jim's Pharmacy and Co. Mm. I, I suspect that Jim's Pharmacy... <laughs> Jim's Jim's Pharmacy and Bro Co. you you got, to, you got to imagine the final order of CDs, which was that that you've got in your yeah, driveway, you got, right? A, a he's thousand? Got, he's no, probably said, okay. yeah, Jimmy. We're, we're, it's wrapping up. We're, getting, we're going on to USBs, mate. Yeah. And and he's gone, no, 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 CDs are going to last forever. No. In a few years, your turntable may be gathering dust in the corner next to that old stack of albums. Instead, you'll listen to the latest hits on a compact disc player. No, if I Jim, buy 10,000 of them, though. No. <laughs> Please, no. no the CD. more you buy, the cheaper they get. Gotcha. That's that's where they do get ya. So he's gone, let's just get 10,000 of the bricks. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're going to need them forever. I, I learnt the hard way when you put your music to CD mm. and you go, to hell with it. I'll get, um, you know, 150. And then you're left with 125 yeah. in a box in the roof. <clears throat> you don't want that hanging over your head. You certainly don't want 10,000 of the bars. No. People overestimate. I mean, even, even if you went to the tip, that, that shame of somebody looking into the big bin. Yeah, and, and it's seeing, your record. Seeing you know, yeah. 10,000 of your CD. Songs of put love. Put me on the cover. <laughs> Jazzbot sings uh, songs of love. Songs of love. Yeah. But there's always that thing where somebody goes, I've got to see what that CD is. And then they get it and they go, This is actually pretty good. Yeah. He just spent too many. The disc does not wear out. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, there's basically no wow and flutter, no distortion, and no hiss. Yeah. So up in the crawl space for another 20 years until retro comes around and everyone wants yeah. blank CDs again, but you can't get them. Can't get them. 
and everybody's like gagging for that farm pharma- Jim's pharmacy mm. um, quality disc. Quality disc, <laughs> which you know, pharmacy. They're in the they're, that's that's um, well, what are the, big pharma. What are they putting on those discs? I, that's that was the next thing. Your med- medical Diagnostics, records, okay, well. I guess, or receipts, or their their. Or We're just going to print out records. Would you like a receipt? Yes, please. And then you go just to give give me a minute. It's about seven and a half minutes. The um, the receipts print onto CDs. So yeah. you're just going to wait. It's just it seems like a backwards. Even if it's backing up um, or, or your data, wouldn't you just get a terabyte, a hard yeah, drive? Yeah, I don't think it's for backup. I think it's for promotional right. thing. But I've never I've never gone to a pharmacy and gone. Oh yeah, I'll have a pr- promotional. Disc. Oh, the promotional mi- disc misc- mix. No. Yeah. But maybe there's a DJ out there that's that's broken the market. Mm. Right? And he could... Um, I, I kind of like the street... DJ, DJ Doctor... Uh, Doctor Farm. Poppy Pants. DJ, DJ Farm. Farmer. Yeah. Big Farmer. Ah. And then you... Or maybe I, maybe that's that's me. Maybe I change my DJ name to, to big, DJ Big Farmer. Big Farmer. And it makes sense that the image. you're selling on the CDs. <laughs> but it, it could become like really retro and kitsch. Yeah. Like everyone wants uh, tapes now. Like you put yeah. your demo on a, or back onto a tape now. <clears throat> yeah, I've, I have seen a lot of that action. So you could, you just got to wait. You just got to hold out until it comes back around. Mm. Like everything I've got in my roof. Yeah. To this crawl space, the back around space. Mm. Oh, I'll keep collecting. I intend to. Welcome to the Bone Zone. It's yeah. the update. Up, oh, there's a Bone Zone alert. The Bone Zone. The Bone Zone. Oh, I thought you were, thought you were trying out your new pickup line on me. Welcome to the Bone Zone. Oh no, no, that's because oh. there's barking dogs, no doubt. Who's barking at me now? It's been inserted in. Okay. Uh, just a little bit of a Frankie update. Okay. These bloody dogs, man. There's always something going on, but uh, this time she actually paid her way for once. Oh. Yeah. Got a job. She got a job. <laughs> so she's out. We Every time we eat, she comes running in. Ah, oh, food, food, food. So gotcha. she didn't come running in. I'm like, ah, oh, that's a bit strange. Cass, yeah. Cass goes out the front. Has a squid. Frankie. Yeah. Um, Sure enough, she's got this huge fucking rat in her ah, gob. Right. Well, just spat it out, basically. Yeah, because we've, we've had a few rats hopping around your recycling bin. Yes, you? that's happened before. They're, they're At the, in the veggie patch. In the uh, compost heap. Compost. And I had to bash its little head. Yeah. Because <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> gonna that never feels good. <laughs> it never feels good. But sometimes, what are you going to do? Oh, what? Well, you got to get the job done. You're going to poison it. Mm. It's going to die slow, a slow death. Yeah. And so anyways, she's obviously gone into dog mode. Bone, bone zone. Bone zone. And <laughs> she's, she's a ratter. She's got ratter oh, in, yeah. in her, in yeah. her DNA. Yeah. Jack Russell or some, some such. Yeah, right. Um, oh, Fox Terrier. And that when they're like playing with their toys, whipping them around, that's actually like the training point. to bust a neck. Yeah, gotcha. So I think she'd felt guilty after like the initial shake. Okay. Because she wasn't like guarding it, trying to kill it, open it up or anything. I think she thought it was something to play with. Oh, like it was one of her toys. Ah, oh, okay. And then she's realised. I'm not the guy, man. I'm not the guy. <laughs> squeak, squeak. <laughs> so I had to like... It's twitching around, man. Oh, you had to... Oh, it's well, it's all, it's all this, right? Either either take it to the vet <laughs> <laughs> or I try to nurse it back to health. Mm. Little ratty, sit on my knee so I can... <laughs> Pat nur- thee. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And nurse thee back to health. Uh, so it's, that's that's going to bite the in, inside of your thigh. Yeah, and give me bloody dysentery. Yeah. Plus, the dogs won't won't deal with it. So I have to <laughs> get me shovel. Club a baby seal to get a better deal. <laughs> yes. So oh. I had to do a, a shovel shovel technique. Um, you didn't go the Negan option. Uh, the, off with the head. No, smashing the head with a uh, baseball bat. Well, I did it with a um, with a shovel. Oh, okay. Yeah, like three thwacks. Three thwacks. Well, the first thwack, you not to go into too many details. Out of it. Well, I yeah, I didn't get hard enough. 
So, uh, oh, you resisted. <laughs> no, I didn't have an erection. Okay. So I had to like... <laughs> do two more. Do two more. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, yes. Oh. Uh, and, oh, geez. Because it was twitching. And I'm like, well, I'm in. I have to like make sure it stops twitching because it's still obviously yeah. doing its thing. So, second thwack. And yeah. then, just to be Sean, a third thwack. Cass thinks that I took the wrong method. She was saying, get the shovel. You're not Sh- supposed to be laughing. Its- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, she said to cut its head off. Oh, but, like, yes. I didn't want to see that. That's bad. And then, then there's the crisis cleaning afterwards. That's right. You know, she's not doing it. No. And then what do you, what do you get? Radder get, kicks in. And then she goes and takes the head. And it's this crazy chicken chase around the yard. Yeah, not good. And here's the, here's the rub. This is where you've always got to be careful with rats and dogs living together. Mm-hmm. So I'm like the roof, the others like the inside. Others don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I've had my Eve lines off mm. for a while now, and I'm just putting them back slowly. But uh, it's got got to the winter times, and the the rattos are going. Oh, jeez, these are just scurry up here. There's a way in. So I've mm-hmm. been hearing this scratchings at night. So I got up, went, and got the rat bait, little mm. packets of rat bait. Put about 15 of them up there. Yeah. So sure it. enough, he's had a nibble. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's come downstairs. He's exit for a drink. Mm, daytime rat. So maybe that's why she was leaving him alone because she could taste the old uh, uh, ratatouille. Ratatouille in him. Maybe. Right. Maybe. Because they do smell uh, 50 cents simultaneously, don't they? Yeah. Those? They must be able to smell the death scent. Yeah, all over the mouth, the foaming mouth. Yeah, so it's not good. Mm, keep an eye on Frankie then. Well, we have been, and she's, I don't know if she's just a nervous spewer. Like, just before I came in, she's like, just like a little... <clears throat> What's the distance between the biting of the rat and Oh, the, it's uh, days now. Okay. okay. Days, but what do you do? I don't what know. fucking things. <laughs> <laughs> How many more? How many more rats must oh, die? And she's had this bloody rash all over her. She'd get a bit of a nappy rash. Yeah, but what and, about... Uh, so, you know, you What about Frankie, though? Off. Oh. oh. <laughs> the bone zone. The bone zone. Bloody ads. On TV, YouTube. TV ads? YouTube or? ads. Oh, YouTube ads. And uh, you'll be looking at, like, comfortably numb, listening to Pink Floyd. Yeah. And then the ad kicks in. And it's uh, Johnny's big summertime happy place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking you out of the misery. Yeah. That is why, Pink Floyd. Why would they think I want to be cheered up uh, yeah. when I'm listening to Pink Floyd? Like yeah. with, a, with a stupid The ad. algorithm should read your somberness and give you something like, you know. Uh, Emo, like, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. buy some black clothes, yeah. mate. An ad for a pillow so you can go and have a cry. <laughs> Handkerchief, <laughs> spankerchief. <laughs> Yeah, can't can't you do something like you can pay, pay you can pay for it pay. to get rid of the ads on YouTube, but you can't once you start paying. You can't stop. Can't stop. Mm. No, no. It would be handy to have the ads off. Well, when you watch as much YouTube as we all do, I suppose. But it's just another subscription. You know, yeah. we ended up having to get rid of Netflix. You all know that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then we got Amazon because it's cheap enough to. If you have the subscri- subscription, mm. you also get like a discount when you order shit off Amazon. And then there's right. this third or fourth bonus that Cat with Cass was talking about. Okay. She just couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. You got to get that, uh, pay that Bezos. Yeah, he's Bezos box. Bezos box. dosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, he needs it. Yeah, so what are you buying on Amazon that you need discounts for? Oh, uh, well, Cass Everything is now. Everything, yeah. Okay. Because I, I, I got a, um, a TV thing with thinking of a jobby off Amazon. Yeah. Very next day. So it that, came it came the next day. Yeah, the fire the fire stick. Mm. And how do they do it? So do we do we go ding, order it, there's someone there, they grab it straight away, they run over to the pallet. I think that's how they're supposed to work in the Amazon factory. Okay. There's deep no, in the there's Amazon. No toilet breaks. No. Well you are deep in the Amazon. Yeah, that's right. How'd um, they get it all the way over here? Yeah, well that's it. That they must have like I just don't understand how they've got um you know quick d- couriers quick coming dispatch. to my locality. Um Well there must be hundreds of Amazon deliveries in this area. So they go, right, load up the trucks. Yep. We got one. We've we have we have got the last one we need to get it to mm. Taco by 
eleven thirty the next day, which is unheard of. Uh, Twenty four hours, man. <sighs> it was less. It was less. Hmm. It was like 12, 13, 13 and a half hours. It's almost as if they knew that you were going to order it. It is a little bit like that. Uh, but I was surprised. So yeah, you'll be you'll be pleasantly surprised with the delivery times. Mm. Um, you know, I I I got um, basic food delivery takeaway. Okay. And I, I thought, oh, fuck it. You know what? We're not gonna we're not gonna go down there. We'll just get delivery. Mm. All right. Order it up. Order it up. 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 60 minutes. Mm. It took forever -sies. I could have walked there and back. Mm. It was across the road. Um, <laughs> no, but it was it was like not too far away. Not an hour and a, and a bit away. Yeah. Well, so and then you they, get it and you're just like... Are they on the other end? Or are they at the restaurant waiting for a delivery waiting guy? Waiting for a guy. A menu log or a, or a um, Deliveroo, Uber Dooba. Deliveroo Uber. Dude, Dooba. Mm. So fuck that, <laughs> fuck that. Unless you can give me that um, sweet, sweet Amazon um, speed. Speed. Yeah. Um, Don't offer it. No, no. You want those, not those fast times. But then, but then in the future, it's, we're going to be like we used to wait patiently for the um, Nintendo games to load up. Remember, you, why right. is there still a time? Then you go back to the games now. They do emulators where you can play the old classic games. Mm. Still got the loading time. Yeah, why do they do that? Why do they do that? How? Why? <laughs> when? When? Why? Why does it need that time? I don't think it does. Like the supercomputers. To keep it authentic. Mm, I don't like it. Delivery times I don't like. So I've touched a nerve. <laughs> I guess. And now a word from our sponsors. Hey, honey, how about we both read from the Smell My Ear menu? Well, darling, I've got Turkish Delight. Mmm. Mountain Deluxe. Mmm. Sunday, Sunday Roast. roast. Mmm. Casserole, Casserole Fantasy. Fantasy. Or the new fragrance, Ice Cream Dreams. Ice Cream Dreams. Mm. Mm. You can almost taste the butterscotch. Honey, smell my ears fragrance has come such a long way. Next time you're with your loved one in that intimate moment, ask them this important question. Can you smell my ears? And they'll be pleasantly surprised. And sexually surprised, by the way. Smell My Ears is a proudly approved product from your local sex robot repair center. Sex robot repair centers are now located at 24 Highway 6, Tallahassee. I finally started your business. What is that? Tim Sims. <laughs> no, the hard rubbish. Uh, bikes and barbecues. Ah, bi just bikes and barbecues. Yeah. You go around to hard rubbish and get all the Webbers and all the, all the pushies. And yeah. you restore them and you sell them. Okay. Just bikes and barbecues. Where are you going to sell them? Uh, let's not get into the okay. nitty gritty. But <clears throat> I, well, I'm going to keep this bike actually. Mm. So I uh, found this little beauty. Yeah. It had all the bells and whistles, literally bells yeah. and whistles, and, whistles. Uh, and all the like spooky doggies, sp all that stuff. But it was covered in these uh, stickers and stuff, like okay. kids kids stickers. So somewhere underneath that was the um, was a real bike. Yeah, the Batmo bike. Okay. Because it's like, it's got suspension, it's got all the, all the ah. cool stuff. Okay. So I got the heat gun out, took off all the stickers, oh, gave yeah. a bit of a grease, greased up the bloody chain, yeah. pumped up, changed the tyre. Yeah. Happened to have a, a, a tube, spare tube in my shed. That's it's weird. Strange. So, yeah, very strange. Don't know where it came from. I have no idea. No. <laughs> it was just like it, it already knew that it needed to be there. It Maybe it was Amazon. Tube. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Preempting. So uh, yeah, so um, all I got to do is there's just one little green lime green bit at the front, mm. just this bit of a sort of flame sort of stuff that it's I'll paint it in. Flame, not you say. flame, uh, more of a, an arrow. Okay, arrow, you say. Well, it's <laughs> a streak. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to paint over that, and it's a totally black, cool Batman bike. Okay, so the it's black. It is black, but it's they're out there. They sing this thing had never been ridden. It's just right. they yeah. yeah, and Flat it's like um, throw it away. Yes, because you used to, for a while there was just TVs in the street, mm. but there's always the constant in hard rubbish is always bikes. Bikes are always there, and but, actually, you know, I've got I've gotten rid of twelve bikes. Yeah, because the kids never want to. No, they don't. They don't. 
They don't. I've been riding a bike up to the shops. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I like it. I don't think I like physical activities. Gotcha. You know? It's a hassle. It is a hassle. My, my legs hurt. I don't know how Cassie Lee and Vanessa do it. To always go going to the gym. The gym, oh. I know. Yoga. Pilates. Yes. Um, pure, pure strength. I think yeah. one of them was called. Oh. Pure strength. Pure strength. You going to go to the pure class? <laughs> no, thanks. Pure indulgence. So anyway, like I got home, speaking of free stuff on the road, it's yeah. it's actually like coming to my house. Oh, the free stuff. Got you know. I've told you about the ice cream. Uh, the ice cream in Christmas. the middle of summer. Yeah, on just your... left on my letterbox. Yeah, I happened to go out there. Too fresh, hug and dust or whatever it is. <laughs> um, in in this in the searing heat. It's, uh, it would, another thirty seconds, it would have gone from icy cold to S- slurry syrup. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so get home from bloody me drive. Yeah. And at my letterbox is a brand new, in, still in its box, mm. saying working and free, uh, miniature TV, flat screen TV. Oh, yeah. So it's probably like 45 millimeters wide. Okay. By about a hand and a half. I don't know. Jeez. Whatever. <laughs> but the perfect sort of... Measurement. <laughs> <laughs> you do the me- me- measurements. Uh, the perfect kind of... Um, TV for gaming. Oh yeah, of course. So it's small enough so it doesn't take up mm. all that. So I don't so plug you my said... gaming stuff into the t- big TV because Cass oh, doesn't want to see me bloody watching. Playing okay, video. so you go off to the side. Yes. Yeah, she's watching um, shows about knitting and mm. um, what have you, um, kitchen aprons. I guess so. <laughs> and uh, you're over there shooting people in the face and yeah, hopefully killing zombies and yeah. I'm What's... playing. I'm playing Skyrim's. <sighs> It's weird. <laughs> it's a weird name. But I don't know why they call it Skyrim. Because mm. it's like uh, Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. Okay. Uh, but so, I don't know. Are, you, are you flying around or what's, what's, no, what's I chose the my... Um, avatar. Oh, I, avatar. I'm, a, I'm an elf. Oh, so but, it's a, yeah. quite literally is yeah. Middle Earth. Pretty scenario. much. Okay. You've got to work your way up to the skies. Yeah, it's all the skis. Mm. And uh, you got to build up on your magic. Look, let's not get into... This is not a recommend <laughs> dash for Skyrims. But uh, it is a recommend dash for perhaps before you go throwing everything away all the time. Think maybe, of who's around. Maybe knocking it on your neighbor's door. Yeah. I'm sure it was my, the guy behind me. Okay. Um, but like, I don't know. Don't you have kids? Don't you have... Relatives. Next door neighbors? It's yeah, a, it's yeah, a, yeah. like... The remote was still in its packet. Yeah, never been used. Yeah, because Sean Seanos is um he he just sent us a text uh, before mm. actually. Mm. I think he's out um, scavenging. Uh, scavenging because it's hard rubbish collection down in our sunny end of uh, Frankston. Mm. And uh, what did he come across? He was just, uh, just going to my thing here, and he goes, "Fucking hard rubbish is popping out here too. Does anybody want a smoker? A meat smoker?" You go barbecues, yeah. Meat smoker, we do. And um, hey, I'm in the meat two movement. Aha, <laughs> yeah. Two meats, two meats every time you smoke. Mm, mm. You've got your lambo, you've got your sausages, your, yeah. your, your snuffies, and your um. Surf and turf. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and then, missed out on getting a nice bar fridge by about thirty seconds the other day. One of the neighbours pinched it before I fucking got to it. Oh no! Should have fought him for it. Oh, at least uh, paper, scissors, rocks. Mm. But I mean, I, it's the rules of the the, the ocean out in hard rubbish. Mm. It's like he who spies it's maritime it. maritime law. Yeah, he who spies it uh, um, can deny it for you. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a topsy turvy rule system. But um, Frigio, mm. ooh, that's that's a good addition to Sean Ross's little yeah, apartment. Get there's there's fridges everywhere. If you see a fridge on the street, it works. Can we? That does it. Yeah, the washing machines work. All it needs is like a, all the coins taken out of the bottom drawer. You know. Yeah, gotcha. Defrag the um. Discombobulator. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm in the, okay. I'm in, the uh, in the market for some white goods. We, I guess we can talk about that next week. Well, let's do my mind, your mind, hard rubbish. Okay. Right? What, ah. what do you? What, what do I need? What do you need? What do you wish for? What's your hard rubbish wish for this year? I really wanted... It's that time of year again, so yes. let's put your wishes in. Uh, I wanted uh, a heat mat for for my garden so I can like do cuttings during the winter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, they run about 50 bucks a pop. What do I want? I want... I want a new lamp. A lamp? Yeah, for the studio. Okay. Yeah. An, extra, an extra lamp. But not just any old lamp. Like no, I, cool want a, I want a cool retro lamp. Retro lamp for furry. Yeah, off the side of the road. Cool. So let's see what happens. All right, let's put it out there. We just did. <laughs> <laughs> see what comes back. It's the secret. But yeah, bloody YouTubes. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, you, I bet you the listeners love this. They're, oh, they're waiting for look. another um, another something, anything. Have you ever heard of the Yes Theory boys? Uh, yeah, I think you mentioned to me a while back. Mm, they've been going But for they about say yes to everything or something like that? Yeah, pretty much. It's the, the t- for the, the sake of viewers? The T-shirt or the, the slogan is seek discomfort. Oh, so they, no matter what, they get ass. Yeah, they they do things you like spend the night in the sewage. Yeah, um, you yeah. know, in a haunted cave. Um, in we're going to spend a day in Turkey without uh, no money and without no wallets. Being but it's uh, it's really positive stuff. Uh, okay. Feel and good. They're, they're trying to do you know good work, and it's a community. Okay. But I kind of feel as though I'm a, okay. Uh, I just I just something about it that. Fucking what the, the seven million views for a video or well, something like that? Where it's like, it's okay, now, okay, yeah, now I'll see what's going. It's supposed on. to make me feel good, but I always feel like shit after watching it. Okay, it's the um, like they'll do nice things. They'll go and throw a party in the uh, apparently America's worst or the most boring town, and then they'll just land in the town and go right. We're gonna figure out how to have a party here and then they start asking people you got a, somewhere we can have a party and then yeah. oh, hey, well, I've got, got a guess, barn over there i got a big barn over there if you want to clean it out you can have it but have it kind of makes it. me feel I don't know why it makes me feel so shit because okay. uh, it's supposed to be so positive I think mm. it might be a CIA uh, it's a PSYOP it's a PSYOP uh, okay. a feel lot, good a, stupid a lot like <laughs> your Instagram when your friends are posting up uh, hashtag live my best life and everything's yeah, at a like, beach yeah, or they've they, they got makeup on and they're yeah. ready to go out and, yeah. and, and hashtag you're a piece of shit you, and I'm you, having a great time <laughs> you're not where I am hashtag the best um, the best revenge is sexy ass yeah <laughs> um, I, I kind of feel like a man out of time <laughs> okay. when I watch them because I, I, it's all travellers they're all bloody travellers they're yeah. all like I've uh, my girlfriend's travelled to every country in the world apart from North Korea. Yeah, I okay. uh, My girl, we, we... We're going to go to the uh, Alpine Jet Guatemala. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's in, it's interesting, like, if they weren't walking around with the camera and the T-shirt saying who they are, I wonder if they would get help mm. from, you know, people that give them free bottles of water, blah, blah, blah. I think the camera People helps. seize the camera. Now, this is where I'm a man out of my time because if, if I was travelling now... To Europe, yeah. I travelled there when I was 21, 22. Yeah, totally wasted my yeah. time there because yeah. I didn't have the internet I, on my have, phone. I yeah, didn't yeah, have yeah, maps, nav- uh, navigation, navigation. So I didn't, I didn't have the seek discomfort uh, community that I could go yeah. and meet up with at a cafe. And, yeah, and you know, I'm, I'm connect lo- with. I'm lonely here in London, and then all of a sudden, I've got fifty friends around the corner. Yeah, and, and that would have been awesome. I would have stayed longer. Yeah. I would have been sure. able to. You know, cheapest place to eat in, um, yeah. you know, nearest toilet that but, isn't a but, tree. Uh, yeah, I just I, I look I look at these these bloody clips and I'm just going, is it is it is it guilt from wasting my time? Is it uh, jealousy? Is it um, cash? Is it or is it they are fully manipulating everyone to go? If you're stuck at home, then you're a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're out here living our best life. You Sky, asshole. Skydiving with 20 okay. of my favorite friends on my uh, birthday, and we got it all for free. Well, of course you're going to feel like, like a fucking piece of shit. I want to be in that community. We're going to get to the end of this, and we're going to donate $25,000 yeah. in this giant check, mm. which we bought with us. Oh, heaps of giant checks. Lots. Of, oh, really? Yeah. There is. He doesn't know that we're going to give him this $10,000. Right in the end. But what a way! Like all these YouTubers, man. I'm really—is it jealousy? Yep. Right. It's thanks. definitely jealousy. Okay. <laughs> nah, well, just, you just want their success. I mean, I, nah, I, I don't I want any of that. I don't want it. I don't want to be seen like on camera. Do. Nah, I don't. I don't. Nah, you don't want to be the camera guy. You want to be the nah. camera guy. Yeah. 
Cameraman. behind the curtain. Cameraman. Mm. Not the not camera the, perso. Yeah. <laughs> hey, right. Um, I don't know. No, it's just all these all these YouTubers. They um, the, 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 there's lanes that we didn't have back in the day. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The doors are open. Yeah, fully mm. open, fully open. But they're close to anyone that hasn't had the <laughs> latest <laughs> yeah, experimental. Yeah, update. <laughs> up That's the, right. Up me date. Um. All right, we'll travel. I don't think I'm going to be traveling much in the nah. near future. I think that's nah. going to have to be done, right? Oh, I'm going to wrap that one up. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the travel. I just don't. I don't want to contribute to uh, uh, people's misery. And it seems like every time I go to a sort of an Asian country, like your cheap, you know, your cheaper ones, like your Bali's or your bloody fucking third names yeah. in Thailand. You're just, you're just encouraging third kind of, world. I kind of. I don't think any of the people on the street. Actually, get benefit. Get benefit. Nah, it's the nah. hotel, hotel years that. Yeah, 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 yeah. The concierges. The um. Seems like the only job, cash cows. the only real job they can get is serving us, like like slaves almost. Almost. Pennies on the dollar. Pennies yeah. on the dollar. I don't know. Although nah, Bali, would you go crook. back? Nah, crook. Crook. <laughs> I can't get on a plane, man. Nah. Until they figure out a splish splash. I'm in. It's a dash. I, yeah. I, I want to be. I want to leave my house. I want a 45 minute down to Telmarine. Yeah, but that's back to your teleport idea, and you don't want to be. Yeah, I don't want to be teleported. No, you don't want to be put back together. No, nah, I don't. I don't want to be. Might... I don't want to be broken down. That's the first part. Okay, yeah. Only then to be built back up. Yeah, like rise like the phoenix. Phoenix but, uh, man. First of all, you got to burn the ashes. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want no. to burn in the ashes. <laughs> <laughs> no. A lot anyway. of breakneck speeds as well. I don't know. So that was uh, Jealousy Corner. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, science. So, so. I had a theory uh, about snoring. Okay. And, like, do you think snoring... Works underwater? <laughs> <laughs> uh, quick, put the, the underwater music on. Yeah. No, the... Um, maybe it's a natural defense against nighttime marauders. It's yeah. like if, you, if you're coming up on a cave... And you hear, hear a grizzly bear yeah. snoring. You're not going into the cave. <laughs> You're thinking, I'm not going in that cave. That's mm. a big bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds too, far too jolly. So, yeah, I think. Okay, so Cause yeah. Because what other uh, purpose could it serve? Because well, it's, it's annoying. Like, yeah. It's very annoying snoring. Okay, yeah. And it keeps people away from you. Yeah. Bad gas does too. How come we didn't evolve to just have really stinky gas? Who says I don't? <laughs> Zip, zop, zap. Mm. You should speak to my wife. Natural defense. Yeah. So, because we... Cause we we've, 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 you're assuming we're still in the caves at this stage. Yeah. Sooner or later, we lost well, all that's our hair. Sooner or later, we lost all our hair. That's right. But the snore state. Snore snaze. Snore state. <laughs> So, so yeah. evolution. We don't have to look scary. We just have to sound scary. Well, you know that, like when dogs are doing their duty, yeah. it's like they're at their most vulnerable. We've talked about this before. <laughs> and for for Crow Magnum Man living in his cave with his bloody wife and ki- two kids and a dino, uh, pet dinosaur, he um, he at night time. That's it, when he's at his at his most vulnerable. Mm. So, so he's gonna snore. So. And and when he's shitting like the dog. So, you know. Um, he's back in the cave out. days, he's in his cave cubicle, the toilet mm. cave cubicle, and he's at his weakest, right? Then mm. I can get him, so he snores then. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, Is he all right in there? He's, he's really working hard. He on needs that. some metamuse. <laughs> yeah, we've got to stay away from that guy. It scares him off. Yeah, it so works it was, in both scenarios. Yeah. I, I don't mind going back to the cave days, the cave diving. Okay. Oh, the, well, we used to, we we've done the old um, actual caving, yeah, where you go down, and I don't think I'd I'd want never to do, that do again. anything like that ever again. No, nah, I don't think so. Crawling into a cave, no, nah. not what I, after happened to those bloody Thai boys. Yeah, and yeah, they were locked in a cave Trapped for fucking twenty days or whatever. Out or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get insurance yeah. for that. But they, what happened to them in the end? Uh, well, all these... I know they got out, but... All these... Um, where are they now? Hobbyist, hobbyist uh, cave divers came and saved the day because from all around the world. Because you okay. can't... You, Specialists. Your, your Thai army uh, doesn't equipped? train for no. cave diving. They're, they're sea divers, but yeah. not... It's a wholly 
whole different experience in, in them caves. Yeah, true. And so you have to get, like, Jerry from bloody Canberra yeah. to fly over to bloody... Yeah, I know how to do this. I'll give you a chop out. And it's like, why do you know how to do this? So I like going into dark spaces with very little oxygen. Yeah, or... holding my breath. Yeah. And I know there's a pocket of air up there. Mm. Thousand year old air. Yeah, I don't like any of those s- extreme things anymore. Mm. Cave diving, abseiling. If there was poisonous gases in the cave and the water rises... And all the air goes to those areas. Does mm. it compress the badness that's in there? Like if you went up and got a, a waft of the bubble, like there's a pocket of air. Yeah. Are you taking that all, thousand all the years sulfur. of stale Who knows? cave air? Can't breathe it. Ugh. Get up there. Can't breathe it. It's worse out there than it is in here. Mm. Oh, well, hopefully we'll uh, all up, all end up back in the caves. Um, society will go into the... Reverse those. Reverse. Reset. Yeah, reset a great back. reset. Are we going to a great reset back to the caves though? Can we just at least go back to toilets when toilets were invented? Can we just go back to the 1970s where everything was just <laughs> free, okay? You could get away with anything. Yeah. yeah. No seat belts. What a world. What a world. What a world. Uh, well, that's so, so so yeah. science. Yeah, so, so so. So More theories than scientific <laughs> like evidence. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Celebrity fun fact. Girl, is it ever fun? It's weird. Okay. <laughs> Our boy Tommy Tommy Cruise. Tommy yeah, Cruise. Everyone's What's he done this boy. Time? Yeah. yeah. Everyone's. Oh, he's flying jets. He's bloody. Is he? Is he actually doing that? Yeah. yeah. Is he? Yeah. How and, does that happen? And then he landed a helicopter on the um, for the premiere. Yeah. On okay. this army destroyer or whatever, navy destroyer. Yeah. And he just flies himself in, lands on it. Jumps out in a suit, right? Like Waves. Willy Wonka, like a like a regular Tom Cruise. Yeah, <laughs> and then flies himself out at the end. But that's not the gossip about okay. Tom Cruise. Did you know? Yeah. And <laughs> avid listener and fan and friend, uh, Jez, you know who you are. Yeah. Um, pointed this out the other night, and I went over there. He goes, Tom Cruise. You know that most teeth in the world, like you, you got your top row. Yeah. It's like if you, you draw a line right down the center of your forehead, uh-huh. down your nose, yeah. onto that hair lip, and yeah. then like down. Yeah. Oh, right? <laughs> That's the halfway point of your teeth. So it's usually, and then it goes from either side. So that's where okay. the gap is. That's where right, the gap is, right in the... Right in the center. Yeah, okay. Tommy Cruz, hmm. he's got a full chomper tooth. In the center. St- starts in the middle. Does check he it, really? Check it out. Uh, he does. It's right in line with his bloody... Nose. His um, Hitler patch. Yeah. What do you call that? Uh, that the, the, up, thing, the upper, upper lip. Yeah. <laughs> Probably could have said that. Uh, that's strange. Isn't it? Now, you do yourselves a favour. Just that's, press pause. I dare to say that's even fun. That's fun a fun fact. fact. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought you were going to say he's he's like that girl that you were talking about with the three rows of teeth oh yeah <laughs> shark tooth mm. so is he is he is that well i think do, he's, can we look that up like is you know there's that chart where you've got you, you look at your finger sizes if this finger's higher oh, than yeah. that one it means you're something or other magnum something like that yeah sure. um it must mean something because i know that i know the other pilot john travolta mm-hmm. yeah it looks like he's got the little Douchewary in the um, right. in the chino. It's, doesn't that mean? Because I know the gap in the tooth means that you're going to be rich and famous. Oh, is it? it? Yeah, apparently. Well, That's I should what they be, say. I should be a millionaire <laughs> and all over the TV. <laughs> <laughs> My gap's big, is all. I'm you saying. reckon? Ah, it's, it's give, it's, give it's, us it a look. Is, it is a gap. Whoa, jeez. It is a gap, is but it? it's not like runway model gap. No, you know when they. Get the whole thing you so skinny, they're just uh, one entire gap. Just, oh, right, yeah, okay. that was a thing at the time. Mm. And I, I look back, a thing at the time, just uh, while we're talking about supermodels, mm. uh, the lippos, the really big, big lips, lips, yeah. big cheeks, yeah. Um, what are they? Well, just the just plastic surgery. I know we've all seen it before and the horrible thing, but whatever they were going on with, mm. if you look back now and look at those. Um, faces, faces. You'll be you'll be shocked at how truly bizarre they are. Yeah, truly bizarre. Lips, 
from here to Hades. But now it's Cheekbones, all uh, like, li- lips and ass, isn't it? It is. It's uh, lips, tips, and knees. It's, it's skinny on top, wide on the hips. Yeah. Skinny in oh, shoe we, we size. Come in or many, we come in many shapes and and sizes. How do you how do you how do you get an ass like that? You you put uh, botulism in it. Is, it, is like, it you inject it? I think you inject it. Is it? I think so. I think that's the. Well, maybe the inserts. How do you get them in there? Through the I, hole? I think through Mexico. You have to go down there and <laughs> okay. get some guy. <laughs> Dumps the <dumpster> doctor. doctors. <laughs> to, to that surgery. Uh, plastic surgery. Plastic retrieved from the bins. Mm, mm. <laughs> That's recycling. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, so it's look, a freak I mean, there. I, I would the say, tooth, I would, though. I'd say with the Tom Cruise tooth thing, it's more likely to be... Um, he's a future boy. He's like evolving. <laughs> he doesn't age. Yeah, he can do stunts when he's sixty years old. He can, yeah, he can fly. Still running around very fast. Yes, Tom, we know you're a fast runner. Yeah, is he running in this movie? Uh, he, look, I think it's in his contract. Okay, must have a running scene at some stage. Okay, so that that's hard to write into a plane movie. The running. Oh no, the running from the plane exploding. There you go. Yeah. It's got to be in the Oh, no, running, running to the plane to get in it real quick. Okay, there's that. From the hangar. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was thinking, like, the ejector seat, he can't get out. Uh, 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 the plane's uh, coming down. Uh-huh. It's run. last minute. Run, little guy. Mm. Run, Tommy. Is he, is he a short guy? Uh, I believe he's... Is he? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was under but the... What, he, I was, what he lacks in height, he makes up with... Um, Scientology, I guess. Stamina. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, I always thought that uh, Arnie was a was a small fella. Uh, um, yeah, he's, he's, he's a five nine or I think. No, he isn't. He, he isn't. Right. But, but it? think of five nine. That's me. Yeah. Well, soaking wet. Yeah. yeah but like, you're more like a five nine sixer, aren't you? Uh more more on the six than the, the five, five nine. Yeah. But but if he's five nine, what does it go up to? Nine, ten, oh, it goes all 11. the way, mate. And then starts again. You can be five. You can be yeah. You can be six eleven. Can, can you? I don't think so. I think six, it's eight, solid six, ten. Nine, six. The next the next one up is, is six. It, is that a ten? Okay. Oh, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, well, I guess we'll never know. Well, that was uh, Tom Cruise just texted me. Okay. Right <laughs> Apparently, it's pretty good. Oh, the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. From all accounts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll see it first. Effects. I'll see it first. I'll tell you to see it so that you'll never watch it. Good. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> this week's myth three. Mm-hmm. So I want to know how they get. The lolly gobble bliss bombs so addictive, and uh, and why uh, the government hasn't shut it down because it's clearly crack cocaine. <laughs> it is <laughs> in the form of popping corn. It uh, is yeah, caramelized popping corn. Yeah, you, once you get that first handful in your mouth, it's I, to the end, to the bitter end. I'm like that with cashews. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. But I mean, you could stop. Before the end of the packet, yeah. cashew, but you can't with the lolly gobble bliss bombs. Mm. Uh, and even on the packet, it's a, the guy. If you remember, he's explosive. His, his eyeballs are pegging out of his head. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. Because I went, I went to, I finally went to Cole's brand new world order mm. by myself. Yeah, he's a really guy's, bad idea. Well, the lolly gobble bliss bomb guy's pinging. Mm. <laughs> he's happy. <laughs> yeah, Cole's new, Cole's new world order. Um, yeah, because I said, I'll, I'll go down, Cass. I'll go down. She gave me a list. I went, like, right to the list. But mm. then I walked down. I said, should I walk down that aisle where the chippos are and stuff? And I'm, Don't go there. Don't yeah, go okay. there. But I heard the calling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I heard it. He's calling me, man. <laughs> yeah. Gobble me. Gobble me. Did you say Jeremy? <laughs> no, gobble me. <laughs> gotcha. So I got a pack, and I thought, oh, just before Din Din's, I'll before have, the din din, yeah, I was a bit snacky. I'll, I'll have, I'll have like one or two. Well, this is about two hours before din dins. Okay. But I'll, all right, just have one or two lolly gobble bliss bombs, mm. and forty five minutes, whole yep. packet gone, every gone. single one. <laughs> and then I said to Cass, so, oh, I just ate a whole packet of lolly gobble bliss bombs. You don't get the, um, you don't get the odd 
Um, Reflux? No, you don't get the odd little, uh, you know, with regular popcorn, mm. you get, there's always a stray seed. Um, yeah, I got one of the bas- bastards caught in between there. What, do they get cobbled? Gapping me. As well? By the lolly? Cobbled? They get, do, do they get cobbled? Do they get bliss bombed? Yeah. No, and they don't get bliss bombed. No, they don't get the covering. Okay. But they're in there. Yeah, the little bastards got through somehow. Uh, Almost chipped the, chipped the bloody tooth. Mm, but man, it's so um, good. How do they do it? Can you sue them? Can you sue a popcorn co- company? Because there's uh, no, there's no thing on the, um, on a popcorn packet, say at the movies, where it says, "Watch your teeth, eat at your own risk." Uh huh. Are they liable for? I think it's damages? more the way I eat them. Because, because I know that like um, gra- I grab a handful and I scoop it into my gob. Well, I know that um, Twisties owes you a tooth, and Mentos owes you a they tooth. Do, bloody tooth. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, why not chuck bloody uh, lolly cobble in there and the why mix not? there? They're a good Australian and company, you, though. I don't, I don't think. I but can I can see them. that. I can see the uh, Herald Sun uh, report right mm. now that superimpose lolly cobbles on your teeth uh, and make you out like a lolly cobble fanatic. Yeah, like a real sweet a fiend, t- real sweet tooth fiend. Yeah, mm. yeah, you'll get murdered in the media. Yeah, I don't, don't wanna, do I, it. I don't go up against big popcorn for sure. Not when you're addicted. No. You're at your worst when you're uh, when, you, when you're when you're craving. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm jonesing for it, man. Yeah, yeah it is. Know. It is, and and also, I guess the myth is, how does it find its way into the chip aisle? This is true. You know, and like, shouldn't it be in the biscuit aisle with the sweetie sweetums, the chocolate sweetums, and, and the um, stuff? What could the be in the nut? Yeah, what the wagon the wagon nut? wheels? Mm. You know, because it's not a chip. It's not a chip, but it's definitely a snack. Mm, party so, snack, maybe. Party Up snack there with aisle. hundreds and thousands. No, I'm thinking you got your bags of almonds, your, you got your <laughs> yeah. pecan, pecans, you got your <laughs> Don't nuts. Them. Don't list them all. Don't oh, go shopping it, by yourself. It's in the nut family. It's it, in yeah. the nut section, is I it? I think it might be. Ah. Look, I don't go there too often. I try to stay away from it. And then they didn't even have zucchinis. No. Nah. Then I had to go to bloody Woolsworths. Yeah. They didn't have any zucchinis. But do you know who had a zucchini? The greengrocer. Mm. They had shit loads of them. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Did you call it Wool's Worse? <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Cole's New World Order. Yeah, that's enough of that. Um, no, so no ghosts, no uh, UFOs. <laughs> no UFOs, just, no just ghosts. Just lolly cobbles. Yeah, okay. Addiction. Mm, there you go. Uh, congratulations to all our... Pod babies. Oh, the pod babies. Yeah, because Clarky went around and saw Clarky's new baby. Yeah. And uh, got the scoop. Um, his wife uh, decided to have a home birth. Mm-hmm. Decided, not previously, but on the spot as well. Like, it's happening. And, <laughs> um, and uh, hit the deck. Uh. This is happening. And then... Uh, Slamo squirto spelch smelch. <laughs> I think that's, that's how they call it. Yeah. Oh, I've seen it. it. That's what it is. Right. <laughs> Clarky um Clarky delivered the baby. Right. He actually delivered it. Uh with the with the, <clears throat> with the midwife? It's uh no, she got there, I don't know, thirty five minutes later. Oh. And it already happened. Uh, is it one of these bathtub <laughs> Is it a bath time event? Did you do it in the uh, no, bath? no, I think it was for, on the um, clean up? kitchen floor. Oh, I think. oh yeah, tiled. That's yeah, yeah. Easy enough to clean up. A but case. the um, the midwives came in, just did crisis cleaning, zip zop zap, did two Snippity loads of washing. Snot. They got oh, out, yeah. did yeah. some paperwork, got the hell out of there. Jabbed them up. Oh, and... oh, sorry, came back, knock knock knock. Forgot to snip it, <laughs> snip the th- snip the cord, then bailed. Right. But uh, he did the old uh, slippery slope, slip, slippery soap routine. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, got it. <laughs> so he's basically a baby, te- basically Batman, baby Batman. He's a baby technician. He's, you know, like, um, he's a <laughs> predominantly <laughs> IT, but uh, <laughs> but he does uh, part time in midwifery, midwifery. Mm, that's what amazing. I, I guess we go I'll one of those a, for that a, baby. That's to uh, Carmen and Clarky. Yeah, and then up, up uh, Barwon Heads Way, where I was talking about uh, our mate Jez, our listener Jez and Moat and uh, Kath. And they've just had a little baby called Gordon. Oh, yeah, big, give big him a fan. So Gordon's Gordo. Yeah, just yeah, met him. Go. He's okay. a Another pod baby. 
I think that's um, two, three, four, four or five pod babies now. Right. And that means that someone that either listens to the pod or has been on the pod, on the pod. has but had a baby. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not we've been C- cultivating or putting babies in pods. Mm. No. But I did see, uh, I did check out this little Gordon's um, dummy he had. Oh, I thought you were going to say Instagram account. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they're keeping it off. Oh, uh, good. Uh, but have a look at that. He's only a little, little baby. But it's got oh, yeah? to see through. It's see through dummy. dummy. I don't think you need to see the mouth in action. Well, he looks like one of those. It's a sucker fish that you see on the side of your fish tank. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that was a kind of a nice touch. Okay. So you like you get a bit of a laugh when you look at it. Mm. I I went up to the cupboard the other day and came across uh, Mason's dummy, and did the old brought it over to the dinner table and did the old. Do you miss me? <laughs> Do you miss me, baby? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember yes. this? Do you remember this guy? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> do you want to have one more go on it? Just one more. Because he loved it, didn't he? he? They both my kids loved it. Yeah, but I, I thought it was cute. So I. I but I then it becomes a problem. It. No, no, never a problem. Right, never a problem. Give them what they want, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then take it away. Yeah, rip it off like a band It's the old dummy routine. Gotcha. That's yeah. where it comes. And then when you grow up, don't be a dummy. Yeah, give up the dummy. You um you when you grow up and you get older you spit the dummy. That's your that's teenage true. years. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then and you then get older and you turn you, into a dummy. Into a dummy. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> there you go. It's then the cycle around. circle of life. It is the circle of life. There you go. Pod babies, uh, congratulations to all and to all. And congratulations. Yeah, keep on boning. This is the beginning of the end of your life. <laughs> That's all we have time for on this day's. That is. Uh, thanks for listening. Mm-hmm. There'll be many more to come, no doubt. We're never going to stop. Ain't no stopping us. We cannot be stopped. No. Um, and if you're at home during these cold weathers, if it is cold, don't do yourself a favour. Do yourself a puzzle, but then never quit once you start oh, it. Keep going. All keep right, going. that's good advice. I'm Timmy Taco. I'm Jazzbot. Goodbye.